What's up guys and welcome back. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to thank you all so much for your interaction on my last video. I got some really great feedback and I'll make sure to keep providing the content that you guys all want to see. With that being said, let's jump into today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about pitch design. And to me, pitch design is really similar to hitting the weight room. The goal of going to the gym is to get stronger by training your muscles a certain way. And the end goal of doing this for most athletes isn't to put up massive numbers in the weight room, it's to succeed on the field. So all of these same concepts apply in pitch design, but instead of training your body to get stronger, you're training the tools that you have in your arsenal. This video builds off a ton of the other videos I've done on the channel in the past. So if you're unfamiliar with any of these areas or just need a refresher on something, I'll put links in the description to all the ones I mentioned here. The pitch design process can really be broken down into four key steps. The initial evaluation, the planning phase, the implementation of your plan, and then repetition. The first step is testing your athletes to see what tools they have to begin with. In my opinion, Rapsodo and Agitronic are critical to this process. I did a whole video on those two pieces of technology, so check out that video through the link in the description. The analysis of the athlete isn't so much to rank them on where they stand. It's to look into their toolbox and see that maybe they have a screwdriver right now, but it could be improved and become a drill. Or maybe they have a pretty good saw, but it could be sharpened and become even better. That's what pitch design is, taking your tools and making them the best they can be. So once you have the information on where the athlete currently stands, now it's time to make a game plan. This is where a lot of the groundwork is laid. Before you can even think about hopping on a mound, you need to have the end goal in mind. Let's go through a quick example. A very common issue that I've come across in my time working with pitchers is that they may have a really good curveball with a bit of horizontal break, but nothing that would be problematic. But then you compare that to their slider, and their slider has a ton of depth, which means it has negative vertical break. So your goal in a case like this may be to alter the slider to throw it with zero vertical break, which in most cases may make the horizontal break higher and even give a little bump in velocity too. So that's what the planning phase is all about, figuring out where this pitcher is starting and setting goals for where you want to go. The next step is the actual implementation of the pitch that you've planned out. This is when you get back on the mound and start throwing. You'll want to use your Editronic and Wrap Soto for this portion because it makes the process so much easier with its real-time feedback. Here you begin to mess with grips, pressure points, hand or wrist positioning, and trying a ton of different cues to see what will stick and provide the results you were looking for. I could do an entire video on this portion of the process, so if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments section down below. And lastly, we need the pitcher to be able to repeat this pitch. Too many times you will spend all of this time and energy with an athlete creating a pitch just to have them dump it because they don't feel comfortable using it during a game. So train with a purpose. Get the pitcher comfortable using this new pitch. This process takes time. You'll spend many days and nights working to make sure that all the work you did wasn't for nothing. And that's it. A brief overview of what the pitch design process means to me. But trust me, there's a ton more to build off of here. Please leave any questions or suggestions for a future video down below in the comment section. Drop a like if you learned anything from this video or you just want to help support the channel. Then subscribe for more weekly baseball animations posted every Tuesday.